Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. The Package for CD command is an enhancement to the older Pack and Go feature of PowerPoint. What this allows you to do is take a presentation that you've created, including all of your linked files and fonts, and save them onto a CD or into a designated folder which you can then view on another computer. You may even include a PowerPoint viewer for those people that don't have PowerPoint so that they can view your presentation as well. Now to use the package for CD command, open the presentation you wish to distribute and then select file from the menu bar and click on package for CD. This launches the package for CD dialog box. Here you can type in a name for the folder which it will create in the CD. and you just type it directly in the name the CD text box. By default, the package it will include the currently displayed presentation, but you can also add more presentations to the CD by clicking the Add Files button, which launches a dialog box where you can select additional PowerPoint presentations to package onto the CD as well. To set distribution options, click the Options button in the Package for CD dialog box. In here you can set the desired playback options for multiple presentations, package the linked files, and true type fonts. You can also set a password to open or modify the files if needed. So here it, it asks us if we would like to include the PowerPoint viewer. This allows people to play presentations without actually having PowerPoint installed on their system. And you can choose how the presentations will play in the viewer. You can also check the checkbox to include any linked files. This ensures that any images or graphics or audio files that you put into this actual presentation will be sent along on the CD. So we definitely want to check that. Also we would probably want to check embed true type fonts. And this makes sure that the fonts that we use to display text in our presentation will also be included in case the people who are viewing them don't have them available. You can also protect PowerPoint files now by putting in the password to open each file or the password to modify each file into the two boxes provided. If you do that, you'll have to retype them again once you click OK. Now once you'd set any options, just click OK. And at that point, you can either click Copy to Folder and then use the dialog box that appears to select a folder on your system or network into which you wish to copy the packaged files or you can click the Copy to CD button to copy the package files onto your recordable disk drive. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!